What has preserved you so far has been your prayer. Your prayers have been like a weapon destroying the camp of the enemy. And I will tell you the next plan they have. Just watch this prophetic word. Blessings to you, child of God, and blessings to you, family. This is God's word with Lady Risa, and I welcome you all in Jesus' name. If this is your first time, would like you to be part of this family, just subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join us for our live sessions. God is here. There are so many testimonies that are happening through this ministry. And I'm trusting God that you will be the next to testify in the name of God of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your prayers have been disturbing the calm of the enemy. See, sometimes you pray and you think the prayer is not working. Sometimes you pray and you think that no answer is coming. Sometimes you pray and you think, oh, you're just wasting your time and your energy. And God is telling you, this is like a confirmation word that if not of your prayer, if not of your prayers, the destruction they intended to do was grievous. But thank God for prayer. Thank God for the times you prayed. Thank God for the people that intercede for you. Now the next plan they have is to weaken your prayer life. If you notice recently, to pray has been something very difficult. Even when you try, you easily get distracted. Even when you put up a prayer pro program, it's difficult for you to, you know, stick to it. It is a battle. They want to weaken your prayer life so that they can continue with their act. But this prophetic word is a call for you from God. Don't relent your effort in praying, in connecting. Don't relent your effort because your prayers are working. And your prayers are working for you. As you pray, also intercede for some people who might be in need of God in one way or the other. And God will pass through you in order to bless them. Father, thank you for your word, for we have received it with gladness in Jesus' name. Amen. God is faithful to his own. He will not be left behind. I pray that the Lord bless you and keep you. I pray that the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. I pray that the Lord look kindly on you and grant you his peace. I love you all so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone you love. I will see you again by the special grace of God. Shalom.